A little more than a month has passed since a home exploded here on the Sun Coast. SNN's Kevin Angel shows us how a community is coming together to pick up the pieces. Residents of the otherwise quiet community of Colonial Oaks were startled by several loud noises this weekend. <laughs> Heavy duty demolition equipment on Cork Oak Street. This was the site of the February 26 home explosion which claimed the life of 46 year old Eric Zakakis. An ongoing arson investigation has left the home encircled in crime scene tape until now. We're, we're here to do the demolition of the house and to haul it off. We don't know exactly what the owner you know, has in store for it from that point forward. But Robert Bodai and the group removing the debris didn't find the property by chance. He believes it's his duty to help and a higher calling. Uh, Sarasota Baptist Church, where I go to church, uh, had gotten a call and um, I've got a ministry there that's called Mugs. It's men under God's grace and service. And we do things like this, uh, helping people out. The widow of Zakakis has been left without a lot of financial options. The insurance on the home was canceled just prior to the blast, and the vehicle she was driving has been left inoperable. Basically, the service is done for free, so it does not cost uh, her anything. She went through a devastating uh, loss, and, uh, and to help, help her get back on track and trying to fix her car so she can uh, use it again. Volunteers from both Sarasota Baptist Church and the Open Bible Hungarian Church plan to continue working through the weekend, removing the debris. Their hope? That by picking up the pieces, the community can rebuild. <laughs> Reporting in Sarasota, Kevin Angel, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And that lot should be cleared by the end of the week and no word yet on when new construction will begin.